Veronica Falls sur Pure Channel, I thank you very much for coming on Pure Channel, it's a pleasure. We're going to talk about the record Veronica Falls, it's eponym we call it in French, same name. Yeah. Um, my first question will be though about the festival Clash de Rock, because I know you've been doing your sound check and arriving here. What was your feeling when you first arrived here? It's an amazing... Uh, yeah, we're very impressed. The, uh, the, the huts, the, the, the huts are very nice, you know, and yeah, yeah, we didn't know what to expect. It's, yeah, it's very beautiful. I to the record this morning and I, I thought your music was feeling very well. The sunny, uh, I don't know, summer French Riviera nice. night. That's yeah, nice. it works very well. And that will be my first question about the record. All the articles were talking about noisy pop a lot when talking about your music. And I, I realized after listening it a few times that to me it's a very clever ballad record in a very good way. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I think it's good to have have uh, have balance in on a record. You know, gives it more depth. Yeah. Did you work a lot on, on that? Having that. We work, we work a lot on the harmonies um, and the vocals. So it's quite an important part of the music. It's, on a lot of the songs we have, it, it's quite stripped down and simple. So we worked a lot with the vocal harmonies and color response things. The polyphonies in the harmonies in the singing uh, gives me puts me back to the 60s bands or 70s, like Trees, did you, did you know that band, Trees? Trees? They Tree, were, uh, and the Trees? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, they were singing in yeah, yeah. a lot too, like that. Did right. you listen to that music? Did you add that vibe? When yeah, we really like lots of 60s music, yeah. yeah. When you compose, you you had those bands in mind a bit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we like birds. And, I mean, I don't know if we sound like that, but it's, it's, all, it's all influences, yeah. How was recorded the the record? Was it played live? Uh, yeah, it's played live. Yeah, with just like vocal overdubs mainly. Because there's an energy, a rhythmic energy that goes all through the record. It's like a link in between all the th songs. One example is "Come On Over" or "The Box." There's that very like horses riding. I don't know. You can't stop. Mm. Do, you, do you agree with that? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. We had to record it twice because we recorded it once and we had to do it, everything separately and play to click and then the energy wasn't there so we scrapped it all and we recorded it all live in like three days and hoped to have like the energy going across so that's good. How did you manage the difference in between a raw energy, very rock and a more smoothy 70s ballad? Uh, <laughs> it's hard to, it's quite hard to capture that. It's easier to do it with a demo, yeah. but we tried to replicate the live sound or the feel of how we, we are when we play live and put it onto the record. And uh, yeah, they, they're quite often sounding completely different from how you intended to as well. So, yeah, I think sometimes when you, after you've recorded it, you have to step up a little bit and take it. But then there's also very rock garage energy, almost sometimes grungy energy. I'm thinking about uh, Stefan. It's almost grunge to me. Did you? Well, it sounds a bit like the Vala too. Yeah, the Pixies. Yeah, the Vala. Like the Pixies, yeah. It's kind of yeah, just a kind of simple guitar melodies. I think we're we're really big fans of like storyteller, like writers like Jonathan Richmond, Daniel Johnson, people like that. So I think that kind of like is an ongoing theme in the record as well, kind of stories and stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Did you change a lot the songs of, of, like in between the record and the way you play them on stage? Did you, did you know, we create the same? I mean, they're really simple songs, so the way they're recorded is just how we play them live, really. So that's what we, that's what we were going for in this one. <laughs> and you managed to do all those harmonies live. Was it yeah. tricky work? We, we, yeah, kind of oh. managed. Oh, well, we didn't record them all live, but we, we can do them. No, yeah. I mean, you, we managed to play them live. Yeah, now. Yeah. yeah uh, sometimes, it, yeah. <laughs> sometimes better than others, yeah. yeah. But it was definitely, I mean, we had to replicate the recordings live with some of the harmonies and vice versa, but uh, yeah, we managed, we, we managed it, I think. Did you did some rehearsal only with voices? No, not yet. We do a lot. More like any songs that are just acapella. No, you we are sing only the oh, voices. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we did do. Yeah, we, I mean, it's, sometimes you record things that you've never done together live, and it takes a bit of time to get your head around it. You know, but once you've got it, you've got it pretty much. Unless you've got a sore throat. <laughs> yeah.
And, uh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad we were talking about that record. You should go by legally, very, very legal phones. Good luck for tonight. That will be a very beautiful concert. You. you could see on your channel some parts of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.